was actually suicidal at the time. And in one dose, he was God Saved. conscious. Thank you, Acid. Yeah. Indeed, I believe this planet and our species is dependent upon the psychedelic revolution. to see daily bread but the lines to get in were so long i actually i took some clips i'll like pop them in here hey guys okay so we are at eclipse and we just got our security checked and they checked a little bit but we've literally been sitting in the same spot for 45 minutes and my friends they were right behind us and they skipped over to the far right and they got through in like five minutes and i'm just like trying to yeah i'm gonna move over that car is going mm -hmm. like first porta potty pee of the whole festival and there was no toilet paper that's nice we were waiting in line to get checked for like 45 minutes and the security they were going so slow and like we talked to them though some of these people they were working since like 9 a.m and like hardly got any breaks so we kind of felt bad but at the same time it's like okay come on but yeah we got here at like around eight missed daily bread which is fine and we finally got to our camp set up in the dark thank god for my little head lantern yeah we're in group camping the name of my group group is Pirates of the Solar Flare Beans, which is really funny. There's like 17 cars, there's like 30 people. And it's just nice. Like I've never done group camping before. And it's nice like people pull up when we pull up. We set up like this is my brother's tent. This is my tent over here. Brittany, you wanna be in the vlog? <laughs> Say hello. This is hello Brandon. everyone. I am ready for the eclipse. It is another like once in a lifetime or not really once in a lifetime, but the next time we're gonna see this thing is in like 2045. Yep. I think. But yeah, so this is like, we still have like all of this space. Some people are coming in, but like this is part of our camp and like all of these guys right here. Once everyone gets here, I'll give you like a proper tour because I've never camped in a group camp this large and I think our camping setup is going to be dope. We're going to go, so let's go. Also, this is my outfit. Oop, I got it. I will con. But okay. Um... Let's head out. We're gonna go wander around and we're gonna see Alex and Allison Gray soon. So yeah, I'm so excited to be here with you guys. And here, just here, it's so beautiful today. Let's get after it. This is one way to make a canopy. Wow. Oh my god, it's 
it's so pretty to have water at a festival. Hey guys, so we're just kind of like wandering around trying to figure out the lay of the land. We're trying to find the consciousness stage to see Alex and Allison Gray. It's kind of like overwhelming, but we're gonna figure it out. But y'all, look at this. We're, okay, Earth Village. So we have to go there for the consciousness stage. But look, meow, love. This is gonna be so cool at night. Okay, we're going this way, Earth Village. So the thing I'm really liking about this festival is because it's like actually at a campsite So there's so many trees There's so many places to hang up your hammock and there's a lot of shade and they do have a lot of like shaded areas I don't want to say it's giving like electric forest vibes because it's like, completely different But it's definitely it's not like how like imagine festival is or kind of like even Okeechobee I guess there's some trees at Okeechobee. Oh my god. I'm like losing my breath Oh, there's that, the solar, we have to go in there. Yeah, I definitely recommend, I'm like recommending this festival, but I don't think it's gonna happen next year because this festival is literally like for the eclipse, right? Oh I'm like losing my breath. <laughs> but look at this. So there, I, that's like a dome. I think that's gonna have like visual arts. Okay, they might be there. Look at that, the little play areas. Here's a little replica. And then here's the, what it actually is. Hexagon is the best to gone. <laughs> we found it. Yay. Okay, so uh, Brandon and I dipped away from the consciousness stage because Alex and Allison Gray don't come on for like another hour. But we are at the merch tent and one thing I've learned from going to festivals is if you want specific merch, just go and get it right away, the first day, because I'm, I still regret Electric Forest last year, they had a bucket hat the first day we just walked right past merch. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna like, I'll get it later. And then later came and they were sold out. So I'm gonna get merch. I think I'm gonna get a bucket hat, a pashmina. I'm debating if I should get a jersey. I'll show you guys like what they look like. I'm gonna get a t-shirt. But they also have like a beanie. Should I get a bucket hat and beanie? Yeah. Okay. Get the things I you just want. I literally live in Houston, Texas, so I'm like hardly ever gonna wear the bucket hat. <laughs> Until you move somewhere. Or like else. the the beanie. That's what I, yeah, that's true. And it says Texas on it, so but here's the one I'm looking at right now. I met a friend in line while waiting for merch. Hello, I'm Zachary. We're getting weird in line. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Eclipse. Happy Eclipse, let's go. Uh, it would be from Texas This is a bad clip and I ended up not getting the jersey, but here it is right here. It was just a little too plain for my personal preference. They are the pioneering visionary artists and the co-founders of the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. That's all the way up in upstate New York. Without further ado, we have Allison Gray and Alex Gray. Please. I'm crying already. Aww. Look at all you. Oh my God. Look at all of us. Yeah. Look around. Look at us. Here we are. We made it. Wow. It wasn't easy, but we are here because we love each other. Of this extraordinary cosmic kiss, really. Uh, the visionary tribe has gathered from all over the world to witness it and to be together and to enjoy some of our favorite music and some of our favorite artists together. And why are they? Because they've entered into the, the other world, the other side. They've seen uh, the visionary world and through whatever means necessary, uh, they've opened their third eye and accessed a kind of collective, mystical understanding of our interconnectedness. I'll tell you, but I'm just going to say it really quickly for anybody who may not have heard this, is that after tripping for three years and having had a God a contact experience I that I wouldn't tell anybody about because it was a non-spiritual time, Alex tripped for the first time in my apartment, at, a, at my party. 
<laughs> and we had never dated or really taught, had much of a conversation, but the next day he asked me out and we never left. That's the short story. Alex also would like to, to know, I mean, if, as long as I've got the mic, he would like you to know that he was actually suicidal at the time. And, and there's many notations of this, and in one dose, he was God Saved. conscious. Thank you, Acid. Yeah. yeah. As in, in my apartment, my little nine by twelve foot room, in the dark by myself. That was the answer. So I did that, and um, and I was had done it enough times to be brave enough to do that. That takes a little experience. But anyway, I went in there and I saw secret writing washing all over my body and all over the walls and all over the bed, and wafting like ribbons through the air. And I thought to myself, this is what some people call God. I thought I'd never known God. You know, it was like being an agnostic, not really an atheist, but kind of like, you know, I love the traditions, I love the rituals, it's all good, but I, I didn't have the experience of God. And so that, to me, was the experience of God talking to me. It was the language of creative expression. You come to life, you're gonna die. It's part of the contract, and it's part of this, like, really terrifying truth uh, that you come up to in your journeys. And so we had to basically say, it's okay. You know, but we agreed. And we agreed to come here. Yes, we understand. And this natural knowing started the research on anxiety around uh, terminal illness. You know what I mean? This has been going on with MAPS and they've been, you know, proving what we, what we experience. Well, this just shows a angel that I met down in Ayahuascaville and uh, <laughs> that had some good visions to implant. And sometimes, it, you know, these uh, visionary centers come alive. And that's what the vision crystal is all about. The union of human and divine consciousness weaving the fabric of space and time in which itself and its surroundings are embedded. This is basically planetary consciousness becoming cosmic consciousness through human consciousness. And uh, seeing in the eyes of the beloved the, the tapestry of the universe and the, the oneness that we share. And then uh, with the net of being, this was an experience from ayahuasca that quite a number of people have told me they entered a, a very similar kind of dimension. But this is uh, infinite interconnectedness of consciousness and uh, being. Uh, and basically, this is one of those nodes, uh, the God self. So, uh, and being beyond any uh, representation is what God is all about. So how do you portray no thing that is everything? I don't know. Uh, this is called one and many. Everything is made of that. That's right. I just got a lemonade and it's so good, it's so nice and refreshing. But I keep running into people I know. I ran into a friend from Austin and then I ran into Aubrey Warren. She did yoga at Wakan and she wrote a book and I actually brought this book to here because I'm not done reading it yet, I'm a slow reader. But it's just so cool, I love festivals so much because like the community just comes together and like the more festivals you go to, the more likely it is that you just like see the same faces over and over again. It's awesome. Whoa! It looks like there's a stage over there. It looks like that there's a stage over there, but it's like still being built. <laughs> Hi guys! Hey! This is my friend Alex. And we just got food. We just saw the Alex and Allison Gray talk. That was super cool. Like, I'm so tired. We're kind of just bopping around. The Texas sun has hands. Like, yes. She does not mess around. No. But look at this food I got. It's like tacos. <laughs> You're just like dripping juices. <laughs> yeah, the food's so expensive here, but yeah. that's just so awesome. much okay. for you. you. Guys, want to be in it? Just say hello. How you guys doing? I'm doing okay. 
the morale is low right now because we're tired. We're gonna go back to camp and just chill out for a little bit. Also, it's, it's so dusty. But okay, let's see how this how this taco is. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's good. Solid tacos. Solid tacos. A okay. Day one, 5:08 p.m. Heather's been kidnapped by aliens, and we don't know how to get her back. So, if anyone has any information that could lead to the recovery, please let us know. Hey guys, I hope the lighting is okay. It's like too sunny over here. Maybe that's better. The sun has been kicking my ass today. I just want to show you guys what I got. Um, I got a poster. It took a minute to get this in here, so we are not gonna take it out. I pre-ordered this online and I thought it was gonna be cooler, but it's essentially just the poster with the lineup on it. But I thought it was gonna be like more artsy, but it's fine. Editing Heather here. I have the poster. I'm gonna show it to you guys now that I'm back. Um, so this is what it looks like. I do like it that it's shiny. Like, that is pretty dope. There's some, like, indents up here, but that's okay. But, yeah, it's just this one. It has the whole lineup on it. Even though I didn't get to see all my artists on Monday. But, yeah, okay, let's go back to the video. I got this Texas Solar Eclipse shirt. I got a pashmina. It has, like, the Flower of Life symbols and Texas Eclipse right here. And then on the other side, it's just yellow, but I kind of like that. And then, I kind of went all out. I always like to go all, all out at festivals. I got this beanie. Do you like it? I honestly don't have a black beanie, so it works perfect. Glad I have that. And then I got, I got this bucket hat. I love it so much. But yeah, that's my little Texas Eclipse haul. There's so many cool vendors, but I could easily spend like a couple hundred dollars here. But we can't be doing that too much. Okay, you guys, so we're just hanging out at the campsite. Let me show you what the camp looks like. It's so like homey vibes. I love it. So Brandon's right here in the hammock. But this is everyone just chilling. Wow. Everyone say hello. Hey. Happy, happy, happy eclipse. eclipse. <laughs> it's like, where are we? <laughs> Yay, thank you. Oh, here, and then I guess I'll show you. This is my brother's camp. Um, this is Alex and Tony's. This are Jeremy and Kim's. And then this is mine. I have my tapestry. But you guys, I, I don't know if I said this before, but I have this cot and I brought this from home. And honestly, this is the bougiest I've ever camped and I'm so happy for it. Like, it's so nice not sleeping on an air mattress that's gonna pop a day in. But yeah, saying that, I feel like as I get older, I definitely wanna try RV camping because <laughs> it would be nice to just like be in an AC RV, but we're manifesting that, okay? Hey you guys, I'm vlogging on the phone. This quality sucks but that's okay i didn't want to drag my camera around for the night but it's so much more lively we are like in the festival now so many more people now that the sun is down just because it was so hot earlier oh look appa i didn't realize appa was uh yeah come here let's go let's go see appa <laughs>
is missing five, four. Someone say, yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes a little something like this. Okay, that's all I have for day one, you guys. I ended up going to sleep at like 3.30 a.m., which is kind of early for a music festival like this, but I actually got like a full eight hours of sleep the first night, which is great, or I guess like the first full night because this is technically the second day. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first day vlog. I thought I was gonna be able to put these vlogs into like one, but let's be real, I do not know how to make a short vlog. I just like to put everything as possible in and like tell us story of my festival experience. Also, I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to my brother, Brandon. He provided this drone footage for me and it just makes the vlog a little bit more entertaining and special. So thank you for that. He actually has his own drone company. If you're interested, I will leave the link in the description below. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to try to get the other vlogs up as soon as possible. I'm still kind of recovering from eclipse, but yeah, I will see you in the next vlog. Okay. Love you. Bye.